Hi everyone, I'm Ben, and this is the Board Game Blueprint. This week, I'm actually doing a spontaneous visit to a protospiel. I'm gonna show you uh, some, give you a little tour about what, what the area looks like, and uh, we're going to just show what the environment is going to be. Uh, if you ever wanna come out to one of these events, here, and we'll get the name again. It might be backwards, because I'm doing this on a selfie mode, but let's get to it and see what's up. So here we are. Right now it's the front desk where you would register, but we have the doors this way, so let's go check it out. Every space is gonna be a little bit different. And in this one, as kind of prefaced outside, we have all these tables filled with play testers and prototypes. There's a little water station there, and we're just gonna kind of go a little bit slower so we don't get disoriented. Let's check it out. You can hear, hopefully, all the people. Really electric atmosphere. I'm just gonna go this way, maybe make some rounds. Just look, just take a look at what we have. And this one's kind of set up. And oh, there's a little table there as well, offered by the one and only Game Crafter for pieces that people can use to prototype on the spot here with other designers. We've got some animals over there. We have an abstract game over here. We have some shiny pieces right there, and so on and so forth. So, the air is just buzzing. And we'll maybe get to a little bit more later on. Oh, that one does look pretty cool though. We're gonna make our way over to this table. It has a big setup. I don't think that's done by the Game Crafter, but looks like we could do something similar. And prototypes of all shapes and sizes, all stages of development. Some really neat stuff. We'll take another tour in a little bit. But for now, that is Protospiel Michigan. To go into a little bit more detail, Protospiels are a very free-flowing type of event. Uh, there aren't any scheduled slots for anything, uh, for any of the playtests, so really you just kind of set up your game, uh, hunker down, and try to call over some people to try it out. Now, among some people, protospiels have a reputation for being a sort of pushy event because one of the few ways that you can get playtesters is to actively call them over. I prefer to think of them as assertive, but of course you'll also want to return the favor of anyone who actually gives you the time of day to play your prototype by playing theirs as well. I almost forgot to mention that protospills have a registration process. You can order your badges in advance uh, for either one day or full weekend passes. You could save a little bit extra by getting that bundle and you can also put up information about your game before the event to accrue some more interest Is and you? perhaps right almost there? reserve uh, slots for the game that way. You can upload a description, uh, some pictures, and even a link to a website if you have one already prepared. So these are really great ways to, again, drum up some support even before you arrive on site. Luckily at this location, Tables were not in low supply, but I have been to a couple smaller protospiels where that was the case, and to me personally, it was a little sad to see those tables claimed by people who maybe left on lunch. So if you don't mind doing the courtesy of other people who may be looking for a place to set up, perhaps tearing down your prototype for a little bit and opening the field to another designer. Of course, you can't contest that some of these look really impressive and for the really large ones, it'd be a little bit more difficult to do that. So maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. One of the coolest things for me going to a protospiel is that you never really know what to expect unless you check that website ahead of time because uh, everyone brings every kind of game. There were a number of party games, there were a number of highly strategic games, I think there were a couple of card games and 
at least at this event, I even played a semi-legacy game, which was really interesting. So people are always pushing the envelope, and you'll probably become even more inspired than when you got there by offering some feedback to somebody uh, about their game, and maybe deciding for yourself that you want to try your own spin when you get home. I previously mentioned the water station in the video, and there's a good reason for that, is because just like any other convention, a protospiel will have you talking and listening in a small, uh, sometimes crowded, especially during the beginning of the day, uh, and cold room for hours on end. So I really encourage anyone to pack a couple extra water bottles and maybe some snacks to get through making sure to give yourself some self-care, not to overdo it or push yourself to exhaustion. Sometimes you'll catch a little bit of a cold as well if you don't have any extra cover wear for this sustained amount of time. Uh, self-care should be number one, as always. As you might guess, protospill is a really cool way to get feedback that maybe your normal testing group wouldn't give. And by normal, I mean your regular testing group, of course. Uh, some of these designs were super structural, while others were a lot more abstract. And so you will receive a wide gamut of experiences and insights that you really won't get necessarily in such a concentrated amount of time anywhere else. And that's, I think, the true value of Protospiel, other than, of course, making new connections in the industry with other designers who may live uh, countries even away. Uh, we got to meet a couple designers from Canada even, and that was super cool to just be able to meet them and sometimes even their origins informed their designs. But if you were to attend the entire weekend, you might even transform your prototype entirely from what it was when you brought it to how it finishes out after the three days of Protospiel, which can also be super inspiring, super exciting, and super humbling all at the same time. And that was just one day of a protospiel weekend. You can imagine what a full Friday, Saturday, and Sunday might look like with even more playtesters, even more designers, and even more prototypes. Please leave a comment about what your favorite prototype you saw was, the one that maybe caught your interest or caught your eye the most. And also, let us know what your next protospiel will be so that we can hopefully see you there. I'm Ben. This has been another episode of the Board Game Blueprint. And together, let's build something great.